All right, this one's gonna be on Finch. It's a console instant messenger. And, well, if you ever use Pigeon, it's pretty much the same thing. It's just that it's for uh, your terminal, All right? So let's start up Finch here. Now, depending if you already have your account set up in Pigeon, then you don't need to do this step. But if you didn't, then this is what it will look like. Um, so how this interface here uh, works is the bottom here, this is your open windows or your windows that you have available to you. Right, so right now we're at the new accounts. So you can see the new accounts here, new accounts at the bottom. If you hit Alt and N, you go to your accounts here, right? And this is your accounts. And then Alt N again, and this is your buddy list that's active, and here's your buddy list. So the windows um, are overlapping each other, and it looks kind of weird in the command line, but you know, in if you have a, a GUI, then it'll look different, but this is how it looks like in the, the terminal here. So Alt N is just the next window. Alt P is for previous window, right? That's all you gotta do for that. So I went and set up a new account here, but let me uh, resize this window. So to resize some window, all you gotta do is hit Alt and R, uh, and then you just you know move it with your arrow keys. So I'm gonna move it to the right here and resize it. Now if you're satisfied with the window right now, you just hit Escape and it'll keep it like at that size um, and to navigate between the fields it's kind of like your web browser you hit tab a couple of times right shift tab is to go backwards so tab and shift tab okay so what I do is for the protocol here I'm gonna hit the down arrow and this is all the accounts they support so everything that pigeon supports you know you can do the same thing like AIM MSN Yahoo and stuff like that for this one, I'm going to do like Facebook. So you go to XMPP and uh, hit tab. We'll type in our name here. And domain, we're going to type in chat.facebook.com. And passwords. What the hell is my password? And hopefully, that's correct. Let me see here. Uh, and then like alias, this one is optional. And since I have the same name for like uh, multiple, uh, what is that, like instant messengers, I usually just type in my name and then, you know, the provider, I guess. So this one's for Facebook. Uh, and this name will not show up on other people's, um, you know, screen. It'll just show up on yours only. Okay, so it's an alias here. Anyways, hit tab, and then if you want to remember your password, you hit space, and you have this little X next to it, and that's about it. We'll hit tab to go all the way to the bottom here, and then save, and that's pretty much it. We'll hit out and see out of that, and then you can see that, oh, we connected to our Facebook here, right? If you want to add another one, uh, let's go back to our screen here. Put that out and A. This is your actions window. Basically, these are your settings here that you can do. And you can go up and down, and then you hit enter, and you're back to this uh, window we closed earlier. So you hit tab, and then we're gonna go add. And this time I'm gonna add in, uh, yeah, AIM, why not? Um, password, what the hell is my password for this one? And your alias, like I said, this is optional. Um, that's it for that. And then we'll save this sucker. Right, so now we have two accounts, and we'll do out C out of this. So you can see that here's my Facebook, and here's uh, my AIM. It's Facebook, right? Other stuff you can do. Well, you know, if you want to chat with someone, you just go uh, to their name here, right? Just go to their name, hit enter, and now you have your chat window. We're going to uh, move this here. We do Alt M to move. It looks kind of like resizing, but this one is just move. Okay, so we're going to move it to the right here. And say you're satisfied with it, you hit escape. That's pretty much it. So Alt N is just to move between the windows, right? So Alt N or Alt P, whatever you want to use. And let's say you want to chat uh, with a couple of people. So you do another one. 
Uh, so now you have, uh, what was that, these two here. And let me move this one over here too. So let's say you have these two on top of each other, right? So at the bottom here, you can see that um, you have your buddy list over here. Your buddy list. This one is uh, one person from Facebook. So this one is the active window. And the other one is the from AIM, but that one's at the bottom of it. So that's just how that works. So if you want to chat with this one and say, hey, Hopefully he replies. And like I said, this one um, that we used earlier, this one is my uh, alias. You can see that it has the FB here or whatever. And we'll switch over to this one and we say, uh, hey. And this one's for the AIM, right? So switching back and forth, that's how you would do that. Um, sup, <laughs> sup fuckers. So hopefully you replies. And this is how you would chat, you know, same thing with uh, Pigeon and stuff like that. Uh, other things that annoys me is, let's go to Alt and A here, is the sound. So if you l don't like the sound, like when someone's, uh, you know, messaging you or whatever, then you just go to your sound settings here and push enter. And then you hit tab a couple of times and then you have your method here. Right now it says automatic, you just go in there and then hit the down arrow and you go to no sound. And then we're just gonna save it now. So let's go to save. And that's pretty much it. Um, and that's it for that, I guess so. Other stuff you can do, well, it depends on which windows is open. You can always hit alt and, and forward slash. And this will pop up a key binding that you can do. And they'll tell you, okay, this one is Control A to do this or whatever it is, right? And you can do what's that? Alt C to close that. It depends on which Windows is uh, is uh, focused. So you go if you go over to our buddy list here, and we do uh, Alt and uh, forward slash. Uh, these high keys are a little bit different, so that's that. Uh, anyways, that's it for Finch. It's pretty cool, you know, if you want to use. Your console to chat with your friends and stuff like that um, and you know if you're already using pigeon it makes a little bit more sense because this is how pigeon works with the GUI and this is how it looks like in the, the terminal I will not I'll probably say it's not really optimal um, as far as the UI that they're using here it's actually very unique though because I never seen it before but it's not really optimal I'll say for uh, command line chatting uh, other stuff you can do, which is what I usually like to do, is I re usually resize the window. So if I resize this here, right, uh, and then we're going to move it here, move it to over here, and let's say this one, we're going to resize this, and then we're going to move it to over here, and now it looks like you have uh, two windows here instead of like one overlapping each other because um, you know in pigeon they have tabs in here you're using your high keys and everything you can't really do that really efficiently so if you want to see two at a time this is what you can do there's other things you can do like workspace and stuff like that but that's too long for this video if you want to know more about it you can go man and then finch here and as far as the hot keys I just talked about you know Control A is for action, not Control A, Alt A is for actions, uh, N is the next window, P, previous window, it all makes sense, you know. And if you want to quit uh, or close the window, you can do Alt C and quit the whole program, it's just Alt and Q. Um, pretty much it for that. There's some other stuff you want to read more on the different hotkeys, but that's the general thing you can do for setting up your Finch accounts in the command line. That's it for this one, okay? So you hit Alt-Q to quit if you want to quit. And then uh, that'll be it for this one.